she hits her forehand better into the backhand corner of, of Sabatini, so that might be the place for her to try to do it because it's her best shot, it's her most natural shot. do this more because Sabatini has really dominated the net area the last set and a half of the 17 winners Sabatini's hit 15 of them have come from the net so you get in there and keep sure. her from getting in get in there 15 all here she comes again Joe was looking for that uh, that little feather volley of Sabatini's. It's partially because 30, of the way 18. she grips the racket. She likes to undercut the, her volleys. Mary Joe read it well. Been in twice as much and won about twice as much. Be attacked. Sure. 40, you know, part of, of uh, percentage tennis is to do what you do best the majority of the time. And, and when you get a little nervous or things get tight, why not go with what you do best? You have the best chance of making that shot. At least they have to try to beat you. up 4-3 in the second set. Sabatini won the first set. She was up three love. Two breaks. Carlos Kiermaier likes what he yes. sees. Sabatini's coach, pretty good player in his own right. He was ranked as high as about 40 in the world back in 1981. Had a top spin forehand, kind of a, an effective chip backhand. Fernandez. Part of a rock band in Brazil called the Flea Bags. They were big. Were they? They had all kinds of hits. <laughs> I don't have any of their records. I stayed in a couple of their hotels. <laughs> Boy, that could have been 5-3 off that forehand. Again, Mary Jo is more the thinker out there. Sabatini's sort of a brawler, more than a boxer. She's got a great heart. Oh, that's out again, again, another forehand. It's interesting they're trying 12. to play. Sorry, Mary, go ahead. I was just going to say that's her 12th forehand, unforced forehand. That's been killing her. Tim Gullickson. Sabatini has been trying to play Mary Jo's forehand, yet these last few points, Mary Jo's run around her back and hit her forehand. Trying to be aggressive, trying to be bold. You expect to see Sabatini chip and charge now, try to block the return and come running in. So two sets in a row, Mary Jo's jumped out to a two service break lead and has seen it evaporate. We'll see if she can pull this set out now. Oh. 
Shaky. Again, when she seems to try to top it a little more when she's getting nervous. Oh. That sort was nicely constructed, Tony. She pulled Sabatini off the net and just did a, a nice inside out forehand. Got her out of position and then took advantage. Nice, nice one two punch. That also makes her passing shots a little more effective when you throw that offensive lob up there once in a while. Sabatini's been smart. She's been chipping and coming in a lot. She's also been trying to spin a lot of first serves in so that Mary Jo can't step around and just hammer her second serve. But her first serves don't have a lot of pace. That one did. That was the hardest one. That was 84 miles an hour. She's been serving in the 50s and 60s. But Mary Jo's not mentally looking to hurt her off the first serve. It's the second serve that she steps up and tries to do something with it. here for Fernandez. You get the feeling this whole thing is going to be decided by attitude, you know? Who's going to pull the trigger? Quiet, please. Well, you know what yep. Sabatini's going to try to do. It's a question of how Mary Jo Fernandez responds. <laughs> Here'll be a good indication to see if she can really hammer this forehand. Second set. Fernandez leads 5 4. You make it sound like you work with Neanderthals. That's a step up for some of them. <laughs> I think that Frank DePont eats his young. Lenny, sneak previews Monday. Gregory Harrison has a tough job. I'm a fireman. I smell like smoke occasionally. But his toughest job is raising his kids. There's four of them, right? Being both father and mother takes practice. Catch a sneak preview of the man who keeps his family from going up in smoke. The fire's kind of a theme. The Family Man. Sneak preview Tuesday after Rescue 911. This is CBS. Lenscrafters presents a major breakthrough in eyewear technology. Featherweight lenses. At the end of the day, my glasses seem to weigh a ton. Try our new featherweight lenses. They're so comfortable, you hardly know you've got them on. Featherweight lenses. Lighter. Slimmer. And oh, so comfortable. Only LensCrafters advanced technology can deliver these revolutionary featherweight lenses in about an hour through LensCrafters in-store labs. New featherweights in about an hour. 51 minutes, ma'am. Oh, they're so comfortable. New featherweights. I hardly know I've got them on. LensCrafters, five locations including Northgate Mall and Tacoma Mall. You're watching Cairo TV, Channel 7, your 24-hour news source. And the Friday night movie, Nighthawk. We right could now. use both of those. Yeah. <laughs> Abacini won the first set, 7-5. Fernandez serving for the second set. question that Sabatini is the quicker of the two around the court, more athletic. 
doesn't mean that Mary Jo doesn't cover court well but not as naturally and as easily. 